I just finished a project on my bed in my RV that I'm super excited about and I've been waiting to do for a long, long time. Hi yo, I am Jason with Imagine Your Odyssey and today I wanted to talk about a project I recently did to our bid in our RV. When we bought our RV, the bid had absolutely no lift system on it whatsoever. So we put the mattress on top and we tried to lift it to get to the compartment underneath where we have storage and it was almost impossible to get to. As a matter of fact, we started putting things in there that we rarely ever get to, but I still wanted to be able to get there because there's a lot of unused space and I don't want to lose that. So I went on to Amazon and I bought a bid lift kit. In that kit, it comes with two gas struts, all the mounting hardware that you need, and two wooden blocks. So when you start mounting everything together with the screws, the screws don't poke through or damage anything. Also in the kit, it comes with an instruction manual. Now make sure you pay attention to this closely because it's gonna give you some dimensions to measure off of your bid, and it's gonna tell you how to install it. So if you look right here, you can see where we have the diagram. And then right here, this matches the measurements on mine. The board on the bottom of my bed measures 32 inches from the hinge to the face of the board. So by that measurement, I know what to pick on the diagram itself. So while I was on Amazon, I also bought new hinges. The hinges that came with the RV on the bed are very thin and flimsy and they bend really easy. So I got three new hinges to install on the bed so that when the board lifts over time, it won't damage anything or at least it won't hurt the hinges and it'll stay secured to the bed itself. So once I got everything out of the box and everything was laid out, I went ahead and started making all my measurements. What I did is I went ahead and removed the mattress and then I lifted the lid and propped it in a place where I could start making measurements. I took a pen and started making all the measurements first. That way when I start screwing everything together, I know that everything will be in the right place and it makes the install much faster as well as I don't have to worry about placement. I have to put everything together, screw it together, and because of the measurements and all the markings, all I gotta do is lay the blocks and the mounting hardware and get everything screwed in and everything went well. So for sequence of mounting, the first thing that you have to mount is the block to the bid. This is a wooden block that comes in the kit and like I said, with the measurements and everything else, you'll know where to put the block. You have to screw the block from the bed side. That means the side that the mattress is on. You'll run screws through that into that board. After you get both sides done, you'll have this little mounting hardware that the gas cylinder will eventually connect to. You'll take that and screw that to the block that's now on the bottom side of the bed board. Once you get both sides of those done, You'll now mount the other side of the gas shocks mounting block. Once you're done with both sides of that, you'll go down and you'll mount the other mounting hardware that the gas cylinder connect to. And this, in my case, went three inches from the end of the bed into where the storage compartment is. Now to talk about screwing those together, what I did is I actually put two screws per bracket in. That way I can go ahead and put the gas struts on and connect everything together and test it out. In my case, everything tested out just fine. I opened everything back up and went back and put the rest of the screws in. Once everything was mounted up, I put the mattress back on top, tested it one more time. Everything looked great. I was so excited that this thing got done that I ran in and got the wife to get her to come out and look at it. And she was super excited as well. So now we have a storage space that's easy to get to. Storage spaces inside of your RV that are easy to get to will get used all the time. In my case, I have a lot of storage under there, and because of it being hard to get to in the beginning, I didn't access it a lot, therefore I didn't store a whole lot of stuff in there. So now that I have this gas shock system installed, and it's easy to get to, now I'll go in there and start organizing and make more use of that storage space. The whole install process of putting this in, so me getting in here, getting all my tools together, and getting it put together, only took about an hour or two. If you do yours, it shouldn't take much longer than that. It depends on your storage space and how much room you have to move, but it shouldn't take any longer than about an hour and a half. Also, if you're interested in getting this system for your RV, I'll leave a link down in the description below. I also wanted to let you know that if you go down to the description below, you'll see links to tons of RV related stuff, things that I have listed out that you may want for your RV. You click on the link and it'll take you directly to Amazon, where it'll show you the item that you just clicked on. So until the next time, enjoy your trips, 
Enjoy your storage spaces and God bless.